Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of RAC or Real Application Clusters. I'll use this board to simulate and tell you how an RAC instance works. In a standalone database, we know there is a memory component called as an instance which connects to the database. So we have a collection of files, data files, control file, read log file, and there is an instance created with an SGA and background process through which the users are able to connect and work. So if I had an application, it will connect to the instance and work. Now, what if this computer goes down, the instance is gone and your application loses connectivity? This is number one, where we are talking about availability, in other words, called as HA. So in case my node in which my instance is running goes down, my operating system goes down, or a network connectivity goes down, or if my instance crashes, my application loses connectivity to the database. Number two, let's say I want to increase the load on the application. I know there are going to be more users coming in, or I'm talking about a new application being added and it is going to connect. Obviously, I want my instance now to do more work, which is scalability. In order to make scalability happen, I have one choice where I can do vertical scaling, where I buy a new computer which has more processors, more memory, so that it can take care of it. Or I can do horizontal scalability, where I bring in one or more instances. Obviously, I cannot have two instances for the same database running on the same box. One instance is more than enough. So what I'm going to get here is, this is host one, host two, host three. So now I'm going to have three different servers, which are represented as three different hosts each one of them having an instance and all the three instances would have to connect to the same database. So the database has to be first of all kept in a shared storage, a storage area where files can be manipulated or accessed simultaneously by multiple hosts. Now this ability to have multiple instances results in high availability. In case this instance goes down, my application can establish connectivity to the same database by connecting to another instance. Or if I want to look at scalability where I want more load to be processed, I can look at my new application connecting to an additional instance. So thereby I achieve high availability as well as scalability. In order to make use of this facility, we need to make use of a software called Clusterware, which ensures all these three nodes form a single cluster. So Clusterware is a software from Oracle which enables multiple hosts to be put together and it is recommended you use ASM storage along with it, which can make the Clusterware access the shared storage. Starting 11G onwards, these two together has been called as grid infrastructure. So you install grid infrastructure on all the three nodes, which makes clusterware and ASM to be installed so you can create a cluster and work with it. So this is a quick summary about what is RAC, the ability to create multiple instances from different hosts and they all connect to the same database, which provides two main benefits. Number one, the ability to provide high availability. Even if one instance goes down, I have other instances through which my applications can connect and work. Secondly, scalability. Now with three instances, I have the CPU power and memory resources of multiple instances, which can be used to do more work. Obviously, keep in mind, I need to have more IO capability to read and write, but that's anyway assumed you will bring that in place. So that's a quick overview about RAC. And we will have a separate video where we will talk about how this is configured and how it is going to work.